You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Now I wish that you had come with me to this condolence visit. You would have had so much pity for this woman. I thank God I didn't go with you. I wouldn't have been able to stand it. The world has become so evil. The world is now a wicked place. I will trust the good Lord to always protect his own. Amen. Amen. But the death of this young man is so painful. Such a promising young man cut down in his prime. And for what? He's so painful. Very sad. Very sad. Our God will always rise when we least suspect. Yes. Yes. Amen. That is why he is God. You talked about a sick visit. Is it still today? Yes. I have asked some of the church members to meet me up on the street there. We need to go in a group. I think it will lift her spirit. You know, I can't thank God enough for the kind of anointing that is poured on you. You know those women will always be grateful they have you. We thank the good Lord for his blessing. Thank you, my husband. You're welcome, my ways. What is this nonsense I heard from your father? I don't know what you heard from my dad, mom. Clara, don't joke with me because you know exactly what I'm saying. I had a lot of conversation with my father. I don't know the one you are referring to as nonsense. Your father said you are changing fellowship. What does that mean? Does it mean that you are not seeing what is happening in that power from above ministry? Clara, yes, ma there is nothing wrong with that ministry. You just want to change fellowship because you want to stay out of my sight and start living a wayward life. I will not allow that. <laughs> Mom, you make me laugh. Do you think that if I've decided to live a wayward life that you can stop me? Clara? Yes, Mom. I don't want to hold this discussion anymore. You are not changing any fellowship and that is final. Mom, don't be rigid. I've had this conversation with my father. He understands that this is one God, one covenant of salvation. Why can't you understand my point? My father has given his consent. And I am your mother. I am the one who will decide what your spiritual life will become. I don't want to say anything about this nigga. Go and prepare for fellowship. Um, mommy. Dibiru, I have not heard anything about my late friend's case. Your friend's case is a complex one that requires a lot of forensic investigations. The officers are on it and I know they will come up with good news. From what we have seen, your friend's case is a planned assassination. But those people that executed the plans left no clue for investigations. Who could have done this? Because I had no idea of him having any problem with anybody at any point in time. In fact, he does not even keep friends. You don't know of him disappointing anyone? in the line of his job, 
No. He does not do that. That is the more reason this whole thing is getting me confused. Please, DPO, I am counting on you to make sure that these people are brought to book. I assure you we will. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. I beg to take my leave. Hi, Pio James. Are you there? Yes, sir. Please bring me the late recent case file. Okay, sir. Here's the file, sir. We have new findings. New findings? Yes, sir. I hope they are all been filed. Yes, sir. Everything is in the file, sir. Good. Go back to the post. Uh, Chief, I understand you. But we have a very delicate situation here. You see, we are trying our best to track the killers. But everything that is needed for our investigation to be successful is not forthcoming. Although we couldn't find this phone, but we have a secured information on the last person who called in. In that case, the person has to be invited or even arrested for questioning. The number is not registered. How do you mean? That is the only call ever from that phone. The person stopped using the phone immediately after he made the call. It can only mean one thing. That's a planned assassination. Something like that. DPU, I was... Uh, I was devastated when I met the mother. She has become a wreck because she lost her son. And that, you can understand that. I am prepared to assist the police in whatever way you want for this investigation to be carried out thoroughly. I want the police to go all out to find the killer or the killers and brought them to book. If you need financial assistance from me, I am ready. Even if you need mobility vehicle, utility vehicle from me, I am going to provide one vehicle. Because that young man was very close to me. And I am so certain that once the process of prosecuting the killer starts, it will go a long way to heal that woman. Uh, Chief, I understand your plight. If you wish to assist us in any way to aid our investigations, it will be appreciated. But one thing I assure you, that we will not leave anything behind. I know the killers are out there. We will find them. I'd like to hear you say that, DPO. You know what? Send me your account details, and for a start, I am going to transfer you one million naira. Chief, that's good of you. Sorry, ma'am. 
I don't know if you call my ogre. Because he's not around now. Oh yes, um, he's actually right behind me. He'll be here in about 10 minutes. That's fine. And why are you looking at me like that? I'm sorry, ma. I'm just at my brief room, ma. Sorry, sorry to have kept you with. You're not looking good. What is the problem? It's your gates, man. I don't like the way he looks at me. One can easily see the lust in his eyes. I will talk to him. And I am sorry about that. But in all honesty, beautiful Mrs. Daskanga, you can hardly blame the young man. Look at you. You are so beautiful. And any man who is normal, I mean any man who is biologically sound, who sees you, must be forced to look at you the second time. I know you know what I'm talking about. I see you're not going to talk to him. Of course I will. I will talk to him. But you see, this news about the death of my technician, it has just devastated me. It bothers me so much because he was such a good boy to me. A boy who has never disappointed me even once. It's really bothering you, right? Yes. It's bothering me. And I am just... Um, I, I, am, I am so much bothered because... You know... Considering the way he died, I am kind of directly involved with this whole thing. He traveled from here. Because of me, even though it has been established that he didn't travel because uh, his corpse was found in this town. But uh, it is still bothering me why such a promising young man will die the way he did. And um, what are the police saying? They say they're investigating, but I don't actually understand what they're investigating. They are very slow, as far as I'm concerned. And the way it is going, they may not even be able to do anything. Chief, you have to take it easy. The police are trying. At least you said it yourself. The corpse has been discovered. What if it was left in the bush or something to rotten? I am just praying that the killers will not go unpunished. I just want them to fish them out. And make them pay. Why will anybody murder such a promising young man? Very hardworking young man. Such is life. Such is life, Chief. I, <sighs> I, um, I, I came to spend some time with you, but given the circumstance, I guess I'll take my leave. You don't even say that. Because you know it yourself that you are the only one who can cheer me up. Please, don't. Just, I, I, should, be the one, I should be the one begging you not to go anywhere. <laughs> you see what I did before? What? Should you go and shower, or should I be the one that will do that? We both can go into the shower. Shall we? Yeah, we shall. <laughs> I love this one. Let's do this. I clean my office, okay? okay. Alright, and lock it up right okay. outside. Babes! Who is she? I mean, I'm impressed with the way she looks. 
First of all, stop calling me babes when the church premises. And secondly, she's one of the choristers. Choristers? Yes. Impressive. <laughs> What's so impressive about that? You know, people like her actually make me remember what people say. That church is indeed a big business. Ah, 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 ah. You know, I don't like to hear people say that. Let's talk this over lunch, okay? All right, let's go. Meanwhile, this dressing is fly, girl. <laughs> girl, where are you flying to? To heaven, my Oh, darling. my days. Yes, come in. Good afternoon, Pastor. Deborah, how are you? I'm fine, Pastor. I came to let you know that I'm leaving. Is everything all right? Everything is fine, sir. I have something urgent to attend to. Others are still with him. Oh, I see. Um, so who will be leading the choir in your absence? Oh, my wife? No, sir. She just stepped out. We are just practicing within ourselves. Right, that's fine then. Um, it's okay, you can be on your way. Okay, I'll yes. be on my way, sir. God bless you. I don't get it. Like, I really don't, don't get it. Those girls you saw in my house that day, they are making money for me. And they are getting their percentage. What sort of business do they do for you? We live in the world where everything is possible. Let's take, for instance, the choir girls in your church. Do you know you can use them to make money off the wealthy men that come to your church? Are you crazy? Are you, do, do you know what you're suggesting? In the house of the Lord? Prostitution is the oldest profession in the world. You can check your history. I mean, it started in the church. Like I said, Check your history if you think I'm lying. I am not saying that you're lying. But that happened in, in the old Orthodox religion and not in the church of today. Says the one who needs money to do a lot of things and is, and is bringing in nonsense and money into something that will bring us money. Babes, take it or leave it. Sex is the biggest business on earth. <sighs> okay. Look, I'm not saying you should use the old members in your church because those ones, they may not understand. I mean, I mean those ones wallowing in the holier-than-thou attitude. Get the new members. You see those ones? They will dance to your tone. They will respect you. They will fall at your feet. They will be under an oath. Come on now. Be reasonable. Oh, please. Don't insult me in the name of counseling. I'll look into it. I don't know why, Sandra, you're too dull. You are too dull. For one thing, I know your husband may be banging one of those quiet members. Stop it. Stop it. I'll let you catch them one day. You know what? Can we change this conversation? Let's make money. Talk about Tina as though she's evil. She's just my friend. You make bold to call a character like that your friend. I mean, she's my friend, but you sound like she's evil and she's ready to kill. She is an unbeliever. I have told you so many times that you cannot mingle with someone like that. She has sold her soul to the devil. You cannot be yoked with someone like that. And we cannot desert her because she doesn't attend our fellowship. Uh, 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 uh. This is not about fellowship. This is not about her not attending my fellowship, for she doesn't attend any fellowship at all. Yet she calls herself a Christian. A few times that I've had a chance to speak with her, I could tell that she had sold her soul to the devil. Please, stay away from her. I understand. 
but I believe she will change if we continue to talk to her. Change is good, for change is permanent. But you have to be very careful with her. For a gospel figure like you, a minister of God, cannot be found with a character like that. It is not right. I've heard you. I understand. Thank you. Needs money to do a lot of things and is and is bringing in nonsense and money into something that will bring us money. Babes, take it or leave it. Sex is the biggest business on earth. <sighs> okay, look, I'm not saying you should use the old members in your church because those ones they may not understand. I mean, I mean those ones wallowing in the holier than thou attitude. Get the new members. You see those ones? They will dance to your tone. They will respect you. They will fall at your feet. They will be under an oath. Come on now. Be reasonable. Rest already by now. What for? What do you mean, what for? Did you forget that it's Reverend Booker's birthday party today? You forgot. Please just give me some time. I'll, I'll change. I'll be very quick. We're running late as it is. I'll be very fast. Please. I'm, I'm coming. Yeah. Girls, this is your new instructor. She'll give you further directives on what to do. So you will follow her as soon as she's leaving. Thank you, Mom. Now each of you, drink from that plate. Need I remind you that if you tell anyone anything whatsoever, you will die instantly. Am I understood? Yes, ma'am. Now drink. You can leave. I'll call you back when I need you. Thank you. I can't believe you're making me do this. Are you sure you're not misleading me? Misleading you? Why are you insulting yourself saying I'm misleading you? 
I am leading you to where the money is. I mean, close your eyes and visualize those girls in choir uniform. They will look amazing. Why haven't I been able to rebuke you? Keep what I'm saying. Rebuke me because of what? Because I am telling you the truth? Ha! Babes, I did take you where money day. You they say you want to rebuke me. Okay, you, your pastor, and the rest that have started rebuking the devil since have you succeeded? Is the devil not still doing his thing? What's your point? My point is you all are fooling yourselves. Come on now. The devil just did the look on an open eye. No, no. See, just see the money now. See the money they flow. Just imagine when those men find out that you now understand the business. Babes, you go just they pack money. Open your eyes and see what I'm trying to tell you. But make sure you give me my percentage. Please. Ha. So, we're really going to do this. How do you mean? I just led those girls to an oath. See, you see those girls? They are all out for you. Anything you tell them to do, they will do it. And now that they know that you have the platform, they will respect you more than the real members of your church. Babes, you have earned their respect. Calm down and enjoy this money, okay? The only thing I will tell is, don't rock this boat, please. She'll be here shortly. Okay. You sent for me, Ma. Yes, Deborah. Is brother Timothy around? Yes, I can find him. It's okay. I want you to take this message back to him. See those ladies? They are our new members. I want them to um, join you, join the choir, they're very good, but I still want them to learn from you. All right? Um, ladies, please introduce yourselves. My name is Susan. I'm Mirabel. My name is Clara. You're welcome to Power From Above Ministry. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right, so um, they'll join you. All right, ma. Ladies, get to work. You will um, join Deborah and let her teach you the ropes. Learn real quick. Because there's a service on Sunday and I want you to make a catch. Sure, ma'am. We know this is Very well, then. See you later. along with them for now. Even though they seem like people in a clubhouse. <laughs> and honestly, I do not see the spirit, nor the fruit of the spirit in them. That is the point where it is. If you ask me, those girls need serious deliverance. Very serious one. Okay, just um, can we forget about them for now? Alright? Let me have a uh, uh, more call for the video. Still have it, right? Okay. Have right? Yes. Okay. By the way, you sound so beautiful today. Mm. Love Thank you. Alright, have a wonderful day. Okay. More grace. Okay, Pastor. I have called you here because I have 
specific questions that would require specific answers from you. Okay. Before you joined this ministry, who was your pastor? I never told anyone I had a pastor. Yes, I was attending a fellowship, but I was never close to the pastor. I see. And so how did you hear of our ministry? Joined and became a part of the choir. How did that happen? Our mommy, that's your wife. She ministered to us and we experienced the kind of anointing that we've never experienced before. Oh God. That is where we came. And so far we've been happy in this ministry. Glory to God. 